let's take a look at how to create a PDF portfolio. I have some images here that I've got open inside of Adobe Bridge. Yes, <laughs> um, you can create a PDF portfolio inside of Photoshop, but I'm going to be honest and say that the the uh, capabilities of the PDF creation is are not as good as what you would find inside of Adobe Bridge. So this is my preferred platform. So let's work on doing it here. Open the files that you wish to put into your portfolio and select them all so that they come up in your preview window. Click in the uh, you want to make sure that your output panel is selected. If you cannot see your output panel, click on this triangle and come down and select output. Use PDF and then for a template we're going to just leave this as a two by two cells. Uh, so this means that there's going to be two rows and two columns. I'm going to hit refresh preview so that it will generate what it's going to look like on your page. Now, a couple of things about the settings. You'll notice that my quality is set to 300 ppi. If you'll, if you'll remember, print is all about points per inch. The web uses 72 dots per inch. Print uses 300 points per inch, or pixels per inch, excuse me. So make sure that it's set to 300. I'm going to go ahead and set a password here. I don't want people to be able to print this if I don't want them to, so I'm going to tell it to disable printing. Okay, I'm going to scroll down just a bit. Let's look at the layout, just talk about a few things here. Image placement. You can have it go across, which means this way or you could have it go down this way. We're going to leave it set at the default. I do like the two columns, but if you only wanted one, you could change it here. Use auto spacing. These guys, I think, are pretty pretty um, self-explanatory. I'm going to twirl the layout closed. Overlays. The overlays are really what we're seeing down here with this text. Right now, it says to include the file name and include the extension. I'm going to uncheck the extension. You'll notice that it did not update in the preview panel. To get it to update, you have to check, excuse me, you have to press refresh preview. There it is. You'll also notice that the names of the files are more human readable. I had to go back and change that on my own inside of my file manager. Typically, I used web practices for file naming. So for this, because I know it's going to go to a client, I want it to look more like something they would normally see as a title. So I went ahead and changed that to make this part easier. Page number. I do want a page number. Let's place it on the footer. I want to enable the footer section. That's great. Still can't see it, so I have to refresh the preview. And there it is in the lower left corner. That's just fine. Now, if you want to, you can add a header. And I'm going to. I'm going to say Rosemary Barker. I like to leave my name off documents like this. So I'm going to have them put that in the center. And let's put the size up just a smidge. Let's do about 12. Black is fine. I don't want to have anything else. Let's refresh. And there it is at the very top. You can also add a footer if, you're cho if you choose, but we're not going to do that for this demonstration today. Playback. You've got a couple of choices here. Over in Photoshop, I believe this is called um, PDF presentation mode. So if you want it to open as if it's going to be a movie and play, Go ahead and choose this, that's just fine. If you want it to loop, that's a good place to do right here. Transition, these are things like you'll find inside of, um, oh, like a slideshow. You'll have one, one image come in in a certain fashion, and a wipe is very, very common. So you know what, Let's just for fun, I'm gonna choose wipe, I'm gonna have it open in full screen mode, and it's gonna pretend that it's a movie. 
Now, a watermark. I think that's a good idea. Watermarks help prevent people from snatching <laughs> these images off of your off of your portfolio and using them illegally. So let's put some text here. Let's say sample. And I'm going to choose a nice light gray. There we go. Now, your color picker is not going to look like this. I'm on a Mac. So that's why you're seeing what you're seeing here. All right. Now, if you want to, you can have an image in there, but I think this is going to be just fine. I do want to view my PDF after saving, so let's save it out. Save as portfolio. And let's put it right on my desktop. Now let's sit back and enjoy the show. So it's going to take a little time before it goes to the next page, but that's okay. We told it to take at least five seconds. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed getting to see how to go in and create a PDF portfolio. I'll see you all in the next movie.